Oh, you can. So some menus really weird. A lot of inconsistencies. Some menus you can click with the mouse. Some you can only do by keybind. Same thing with the dialogue. It seems very inconsistent. Like they weren't really decided on the design choices when it wanted to be mouse only, click only, or keyboard only, key inputs only. So it seems very mixed in the ways you can interact with the UI. It's really weird design. How's it going, Accessible Gamers? One hand mostly here. And today we're taking a look at Buildings Have Feelings 2. It's a city management puzzle type game. I'm really excited to check this out and see kind of accessibility it has right now at release. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Okay, start new game. I'm hitting spacebar. There we go. New game. Confirm. Spacebar, continue. Circa 1900. So there wasn't really an options menu right there. Let's see if we can find an options menu. Once this guy with our legs stops. How did it come to this? Let's press tab. It looks like you can press tab. So far we've got quick save, music, SFX, language, and that is it. Oh boy. And let me see, how do I move through these menus? Can't use the arrow keys. You have to use WASD. Okay, so this game does not have, it looks like it does not have any key binds. So I have to play with my right hand, stretch over all the way to the left, pressing WASD to move. Can't move yet, let's play space bar. I think I lived in a solid life, but that's really unfortunate. It's gonna make this game playing a lot harder for me and maybe many others who requires uh, being able to rebind the keys because this game does not offer any remind and cannot be able to do that right now at this point in time at least um it is an indie game so you know sometimes those things you know time and money and budget all those different things come into play here but i was kind of excited to play this game i still might be able to play we may not be doing a longer form video but hopefully we'll see how long we can get and see kind of the basics of the game and see how it looks and how it plays and how easy it is and how tired i get because right now i'm having to reach over it says it press space bar to can go through the dialogue. Let me see if I hit. Okay, so mouse click can progress through the dialogue. Okay, I was. Okay, we're going back up. Like I had dot dot dot. I was like, what does it want me to do? Oh, more loading. It's giving us tips at the bottom, so that's good. You have to press E, but it's kind of auto pressing it for us. I'm not pressing any of those buttons right now. But it looks like it, you can use the mouse to do some things like progress the dialogue, but others we may not be able to do right now. All right, we're at High Street City Center. Okay, I guess I gotta move. Oh, look who it is. Press E. Let me see if I click on this building. Will it do anything? Click on the E spot? Nope, you have to press E. Okay, I mean warehouse, let's see if I press space here. Or the mouse here. Let me see if I press the mouse here. Will it progress? No. So I have to press space bar down here to progress, which is kind of unfortunate. You can't press the space bar. And you have to hold shift. And it's not right shift. So everything you have to hold is on the left shift. And it's not a toggle either. So it looks like that hold shift to overview. It's on the left side. You can't do it on the right side. You have to hold shift to see the different things about your buildings. The rented rooms and a grocer. He deals in produce every day. He's the greenest grocer you'll ever see. This music is nice, so I like this music. I did listen to this. Oh, we gotta press E again. So the warehouse, I think we need a new building for two of these parts. All right, let's construct a new building. Construct a new building by selecting an empty slot with the spacebar button. You can find the position with the construct menu. Oh, is this A or D? Okay, so it looks like, see that there's a little block that highlights underneath? This is where we can build something. Let's build something right here. 
we got our little construction press space bar uh can i click on this menu any let's see can i click construct no you have to press the key button say construct hello i guess we're too far over let's go over one here there we go all right made a chimney a really big chimney boom jamming i love this music you didn't you're not sure you had a chimney in mind it's a really big chimney bro yeah, it's helped this poor chimney out. Okay, let's give it a job. A business. I'm giving it a business. You can open it up by pressing spacebar. Spacebar. Uh, add business. Spacebar again. Spacebar. That's pretty easy. Uh, that says Q to close. You gotta reach over and hit Q, I'm guessing. Let's try. Can we hit down here? Oh, you can. So some menus are really weird. A lot of inconsistencies. Some menus you can click with the mouse. Some you can only do by keybind. Same thing with the dialogue. It seems very inconsistent. Like they weren't really decided on the design choices when it wanted to be mouse only, click only, or keyboard only, key inputs only. So it seems very mixed in the ways you can interact with the UI. It's really weird design. Talk to this guy again. This is unacceptable. Do you know how long it took me to get to the warehouse to stop factory work? Have a closer look and you'll see the effect of these factories. Okay, now we have to hold Alt. And remember, it's not right Alt. I'm pressing right Alt right now. It does nothing. We have to hold left Alt. Because everything on the left side is using WASD. Okay, so we can see he gives housing, other guy gives heart. And then the other guy, the chimney gives us, hold it on, oh, hold it on the chimney. Okay, so I got back up. And then press alt. Okay. It's just all a smoke and smog. Messing with our town, bro. All right, let's talk to the grocer. He's got you thinking. How about I show you the ropes? Yeah, show me the ropes of building. Select like the warehouse. Attributes. E. Currently my groceries create fresh veg for surrounding buildings because everyone knows buildings needs fresh veg. You can find out more details about fresh veg. R for details. Here we can see how the fresh veg is worth one apple carrot. Q to back. I think this game was designed to play one-handed, but then they were like, let's put it only on the left side. You can't change the keybinds or use the arrow keys. So you're stuck using your left hand. Uh, now what I have to do? Upgrade? We can't upgrade. Can we upgrade? No, we can't. I'm supposed to, oh, hold alt. Okay, I'm holding alt. Now what? Press E. Need to complete appeal goals to earn appeal and upgrade. Okay. Two people equals one heart. Let's find out more about the building overview area. Old alt. We need to see which buildings are contributing to your appeal goals. That's my good friend. Next door with one people. Close menu. Oh, close. How about building any other rent rooms nearby? Okay. Let's put it over on this side of you. Put it right here. Press space bar. Rented rooms. Yes, we want the rented rooms. Build, build, build. Go, go. Then we gotta give it a business space bar. Rented rooms. Confirm. Everything's really easy. It flows through the menu so quickly. All right, let's talk to the grocer. Fantastic. Now it's up the fruit and veg content in this here neighborhood. 
We know we can upgrade them. So we press space bar. You upgrade. Confirm upgrade. You have now been upgraded, good sir. I earned four Lego pieces. I think they're bricks, but let's call them Lego pieces. Sometimes we'll need a specific attribute like friendly locals. Not sure how to find an attribute for an appeal goal. You can always check the details. Okay. Uh, oh, R for details. Friendly locals produced by rented rooms. Press Q to go back. Talk to him again. All right. So we're getting to master it. In case I didn't know. You are stuck trying to ask a building for advice with W. It'll give me a hint. Okay. Warehouse, we'll look at you. I wasn't going to say anything, but I've got a few bricks set aside. Why don't you clear some space? Yeah, let's clear some space. We need more buildings. Blah, 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 blah. More buildings. Do one. Let's do one on each side. Two on each side, I mean. Here we go over here. Running over here. Base bar. Over here. Base bar. Okay, we're done. We made more space. Alright, Mr. Houseman. So much space for activities, damn right. Now, if Chimney is serious about this factory work, they're going to have to move away from the warehouse to me. Okay, Mr. Chimney. You're no longer welcome with your friends. You're going to have to go to the other side of, the, of town. I'm sorry. It just had to come to this. You're too smoky. You smoke all the time. We tell you to stop. It's not good for you. But you're going to have to go to the other side of the building. I'm sorry. Move chimney. Okay. Let's move him. Press Q. Close. Press S. Now he's following me. We're moving. Let's go. Bro, we're moving. You're in... Oh, I have to put him down somewhere. No, I don't. Did I, didn't I click on it? Yes. There we go. Let's move. You're going to go right here. Enjoy this part of the woods. Town. Oh, talk to him. Yeah, you made it, bro. Roads? We're going on any roads. Wait, no, scrap that. We very much need roads. You've earned 10 Lego pieces. Do we really even know? Let's get these pipes, pipes smoking. Dude, I told you about your, your addiction here. You need to lay off the pipe. Talk to this guy over here. Thanks for doing that. It's really for warehouse. It's been taking a lot to get here. And you know, I think it really made progress through. Look how clear it is. Perfect for more buildings. Here, have the last of my bricks and let's get this neighborhood back on track. More buildings and businesses to get started. Okay. Construct a new building. Open a pub. Get the neighborhood hearts to 12. We get 60 Lego pieces. Let's go over here and build another grocer. Probably right here. And then we're going to build a small warehouse. And you get to be the pub. And it contributes that. Okay, perfect. Then we'll close it. We'll put a town, little town piece. I think right here. Oh, residence building. Down one. We need to move them over one. After we make them a rented room. Okay. Q. Oh, I can upgrade him. Hold First, let's move him over one. Right there. Stay right there, buddy. You can upgrade this bad boy. Space bar. View upgrade. Confirm upgrade. I earned two Lego pieces. Okay, close this. Upgrade this guy. Confirm. We upgrade him again to three stars. been upgraded okay then go over here oh, close this go to the pub upgrade the pub we're 
still at nine hearts. We can upgrade it again. Let's keep it going. Keep this train growing. Okay. I need whiskey barrels though. I don't know where I get that. Oh, what? Why is he? Why are you sad? Maybe I wasn't supposed to upgrade the pub all the way. Hmm. Let's go to the other side of town where our pipe smoking friend is. Let's build a small warehouse. And this can be the linen mill. It says it needs people though to upgrade it. I mean, can I put a house over here? Needs three spaces. You can be rented rooms. Okay. This needs a pint. Put the pint over here. Oh, I'm out of buildings. Let's make it to grocer. Can I upgrade this? I can. Still low on people. It, oh, cause it's getting too much smoke. We need to move it down. We can shove people down one. Yeah, we can shove them down one. One shove down one. Let's move this guy over. Everyone shove down one. And we win. We got 13 hearts. We only need 12. Task complete. This place we get into shape up. Let's, there's a chat of a few buildings. Needing help at the other side of the bridge. Maybe you could give them a scaffold or two. Have a word with the city and unlock the side of the neighborhood. Come back anytime. Is this across the bridge? I think that's going to do it though because the game is not super accessible. I can't really change the keybinds, unfortunately. And there's not really any other options or ways to do it. And it's kind of tiring. I'm going to reach over the keyboard. We've only done like 20 minutes of this gameplay of the first level. I'm already, my arm is already sore, hoping to hold it up and over and across on my wheelchair, but I'm one hand mostly. This game seems really cool. I'm really unfortunate that it's not able to be rebound and has its own settings. It does have some subtitles and all the text and you can kind of progress through the story and the subtitles by clicking or hitting the space bar. You don't miss any of this text speed. Everything is kind of different colors and different shapes. You can easily see what upgrades you need. But the keybinds thing for me is like what's really preventing me from being able to play this game. But it is out today on Steam and maybe some other platforms as well. But I'm one hand mostly, gamers people policy. I play most of my games one handed. Make sure you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, right here on subscribe on YouTube, and now on TikTok. As always, till next time, keep leveling up.